Do you have low water pressure? This Smart 45 booster pump can take care of it. This is built by Aqua Strong. It is a self-priming variable speed, constant pressure smart pump. It can handle the entire household, including garden irrigation, shallow wells, and light commercial use. Owner's manual is included and it gives you all of the instructions that you'll need for your particular application and how to install it and I'll show you that shortly. The product comes extremely well packaged and well protected from damage. The Aqua Smart 45 is an efficient magnet mortar so it uses lower electricity. It has constant pressure with variable speed. The noise operation is pretty quiet. It's 60 decibels, which is similar to a household dishwasher. You can also pump hot water through it all the way up to 175 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is manufactured with eco-friendly materials. There are a lot of applications where you may need a booster pump. Okay, you wanna install the booster pump somewhat near your water source. The inlet is at the bottom and the outlet is the top. That's where the pressure water will come out. It comes with an O-ring included, although your pipe adapter may include an O-ring as well. These are one inch connections. Now, if you have a different size, you'll just buy a pipe adapter, a reducer to go from your current size to the one inch. This is also the fill valve, which you'll fill with water when you prime it and start it up for the first time. Now install it on something firm. Here we are in a basement. If you have a water issue, make sure to install it elevated, such as on some kind of a stand. At the bottom, we have the power button and the increase and decrease pressure buttons. And it uses a standard voltage in North America of 115 volts. Okay, installation could not be simpler. You're simply going to take your pipes. Now, you want to use a flexible adapter if you can. The manufacturer recommends some flex. It is a pump after all, so there will be a slight amount of vibration. So you're going to turn off your main water, connect to the main water source. You can use bypass valves or disconnect valves if you would like. And then this is the one inch flex adapter rated for water. And then we're going to repeat the process for the increased pressure on the remaining pipe. So the low pressure water will come in and the high pressure water will come out. Now you want to hand tight it first and then come back with a wrench to do the final tightening. Now be mindful that there is another nut here and you may want to use two wrenches so you don't over tighten. So with the main water disconnected, you have the low pressure water main coming in and then you have the high pressure going out to your house or business. This valve up here is for priming with water. That's right before the first usage. Now this cap will be very tight from the manufacturer. Go ahead and use a screwdriver or some leverage to loosen it. This priming with water procedure only is for the first time. You don't have to do it repeatedly. The amount of water you want is approximately one third of a gallon. And then you're simply going to replace the cap. Okay, now we're ready to start for the first time. Go ahead and turn on or turn open the highest valve in your property or the furthest valve in your property. Go ahead and plug in your new booster pump. Turn on the main water supply, run some water through the unit, and keep that far valve open until all of the air runs through the system so you just have water. A shower works really good for this. Now over here on the business end of the equipment, it will display your operating pressures and you can simply adjust the operating pressure up or down. It's rated in PSI or pounds per square inch. Once you set the PSI to the desired pressure, it's automatic and you won't have to do anything. The pressure you select is completely adjustable all the way up to 80 PSI pressure that you desire and the right side is the current pressure in your house. Underneath that, you'll have a range of error indicators. So if something has stopped operating, you'll know the reason why. The owner's manual lists out every single error light so you can diagnose a problem. 
the owner's manual does a good job of showing you the product highlights, the correct positioning of everything, the different valves and setup configurations that you may have. It also shows you that startup procedure with priming the pump for the first time. You can set operating pressure as high as 80 PSI. Here's some instructions for the operating control panel, the two-year warranty, and a list of the parts included. Thank you to Aqua Strunk for sponsoring this video. I have enjoyed installing this product and it will give us years and years of good service.